All right, this is part two on that stainless steel um, scrubber, kitchen scrubbers with the Epsom salts and water. Uh, rechargeable cell battery, homemade. And uh, this is all it is. It's just um, the stainless steel scrubbers, two of them, about three tablespoons of Epsom salts and some bottled water, and you make yourself a rechargeable battery. And that's the date, and that's me lid motor. And all it is, is uh, I put it in a box here. It's a couple of these scrubbers, stainless steel scrubbers, with a separator material between them so they don't touch. And you fill it up with this mixture of Epsom salts and bottled water. You can use tap water. Um, I tried it with distilled water. It didn't work so good. So I think you need some of the minerals in the electrolyte water for it to work. Tap water uh, produces a lot of junk in it after a while. But the bottled water worked really good. The uh, purified bottled water or even... Uh, some of the mineral type waters worked quite well. But anyway, it uh, it works and it is rechargeable. And um, it's running this oscillator here. And if anybody makes these, here's a tip. Do not try to put a copper wire on that and lead it outside. It, it forms a battery, a galvanic battery in there, and it destroys the cell. It doesn't work at all. Just take a piece of that stainless steel wire, bring it outside, and make your connection point outside of the cell. And it runs this um, oscillator or a little pulse motor really, really good. Let me turn it up here. It comes on real bright. And uh, I was very, very happy with this. Uh, I did some testing on another, uh, the first version of this, and uh, used a little solar panel to charge it up with, which is what I did on this today. And uh, it accepts the charge quite nicely. It goes up to about a volt and a half and uh, holds that quite well. Now, uh, it is not a capacitor, I've decided, and it's not a real strong battery. But it is a homemade battery that you can build in your kitchen with uh, very simple parts. And, of course, you need an oscillator to make it work like this. You'll need a Jewel Thief oscillator, which is what uh, Penny is here. She's a modified Jewel Thief type of oscillator, a blocking oscillator. And then uh, some kind of a container to put the whole thing in. But that's the formula for it right there. It's just two of those stainless steel scrubbers, uh, three tablespoons of Epsom salts, and a cup of uh, warm, warm it up, bottled water, and you have a rechargeable battery and a homemade one and uh, I've been testing this for several days now to make sure that it was in fact a battery and not a capacitor and in fact that it was rechargeable and it is just like I say make sure you don't contaminate it with copper or any other material in in that cell because it'll react and this is that magnetic stainless steel I was talking about in my last video just bring a piece of it outside and make whatever connection point you want on the outside of the cell and uh, you got yourself a, a nice little battery. Let me turn this back down. You'll see it blink. That's the blink mode of uh, the penny oscillator, which draws uh, less than a milliamp. You know, when it's down on this point here, and this will run for many hours on that low setting. On the high setting, um, I don't know, an hour or two. And then you just charge it back up again. Charges up very rapidly. And like I say, I've been charging them up with the solar energy outside using a little solar panel. And uh, uh, it worked quite well. So anyway, that's the, the second part of my homemade uh, rechargeable battery using the stainless steel scrubbers with the Epsom salts. Thanks for watching.